How's it going everyone? Today we got a story time of a Minecraft kid who steals the subscriber's phone and then d just declares that he is not the one who did it. Very, very stubbornly saying that he's not the one. It gets to the point where like their parents have to get involved and it's a whole ordeal. I know you'll enjoy today's story, so sit back, relax, subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave a like on the video to claim your very own free nothing. Fantastic deal, by the way. And with that all being said, let's just jump right into it. So anyways, how did this story all start? Well, basically, uh, the subscriber, he got in detention. It was for something kind of small and dumb. I mean, I mean, he got in detention either way. He told me that he was in class and the teacher was like, pay attention, stop talking to your friend. And the thing was, the subscriber was actually midway through a very, very interesting story. The thing is though, like, uh, you know, the subscriber was only midway through the story when the teacher called him out. So after a couple minutes, the subscriber went back to telling his friend the story because it was really interesting. And then the teacher, you know, called him out again and said, look, if you if you two aren't going to like shut up, like and like listen and pay attention and be not distracting to everyone else, well, you're going to get detention. The thing is, though, the subscriber was caught right before the really good part of the story. So the subscriber kind of looks at his friend and the friend looks back at, at him and they kind of make like eye contact and kind of make like non-verbal agreement that they're going to finish this story no matter what the teacher says. So yeah, sure enough, the subscriber does finish the story. But at the very end, he like I think his friend like laughs or something because it's pretty funny. The teacher sees this and uh, yeah, they get detention. So uh, the thing is though, uh, the subscriber's friend said like, hey, I have a doctor's appointment to the teacher so I can't make it. Meaning that he has to go to detention the next day and the subscriber goes to detention that day so the subscriber is walking into detention basically alone when the subscriber walks in he sees most like there's one other kid in the room one other kid in the room and this kid is the minecraft kid so yeah anyways right uh, how did the minecraft kid get there so basically what happened uh, the minecraft kid he uh, was caught playing minecraft in class the school is a very very strict uh, no like using your technology, uh, your, uh, I don't know, your, what's it called? Your, like, iPads for non-school-related stuff policy. And, well, the Minecraft kid was caught playing Minecraft, and believe it or not, like, uh, yeah. Nope, he was, uh, he was caught playing Minecraft. Yeah, I think, like, the Minecraft kid was just, like, on his iPad tapping away, and it was pretty obvious that he was not tapping away playing notes. Like, there's just, like, a way that you go about it. Um, that it's just very obvious that you're not chill, taking notes, maybe taking a photo of, you know, the whiteboard. No, you were definitely doing something on there. And I think the Minecraft kid was, like, so incredibly focused on the game that he was playing. Or Minecraft. Oh, the game. Minecraft. He's the Minecraft kid. That he didn't even notice the teacher, like, looking at him funny and then probably calling his name and then walking up to him and then seeing he was playing Minecraft and then taking away his iPad, right? And then giving him detention. Because the school was actually pretty strict with it. Uh, I, I low-key kind of find that that's an overreaction. Like, okay, kid's not paying attention in class. Well, take away his iPad. You don't have to also send him to attention as well. But I don't know, man. I also, I also kind of see where they're coming from. So, hey, what are you going to do? Anyways, though, so because of that, uh, the Minecraft kid was also in detention. So it was just the subscriber and the Minecraft kid for the next hour in this room. Anyways, though... About, like, five minutes in, um, the teacher, this, like, teacher, uh, comes up to the door, knocks on it, and the person who is, uh, uh, managing the detention goes up and sees who's there. So, whoever is at the door, um, was a, uh, was a teacher, it was actually the subscriber's teacher for another class, and the subscriber, uh, was, like, you know, kind of, the, was talking to the teacher later on in the day, because he needed help with something, and the teacher was like, okay, well, I when are you free? And the subscriber's like, hey, I actually just got detention for, like, talking in class. Do you happen to be around? And the teacher's like, actually, yeah, because that teacher would sometimes stick around just in school, just doing work, because, I don't know, it was, like, you know, it was pretty quiet when most of the kids were gone, and he kind of felt like, okay, well, this is actually a pretty solid work block or a pretty solid place to do work, more or less undistracted, and also in an environment where I'm not going to be thinking about a billion other things. So anyways, right, uh, sure enough, the teacher comes to the door, and the subscriber's like, oh, okay. So the subscriber gets the okay from the person running detention that it is okay for him to go out. What the subscriber does is instead of, like, he was just on his phone. I, I don't know if you were allowed to do that in detention or not. He might have been doing it sneakily. But either way, the subscriber puts the phone down on the desk. 
Little did the subscriber know that this one action, this one move was gonna like butterfly effect into the rest of the story. It's just kind of interesting that you can like look back at history, either your own personal or someone else's, and just see how such a slight, just very run of the mill uh, th action that seems to have no consequence, especially in the short term, just kind of like metastasizes into something ridiculous, such as the following story. So anyways, the subscriber leaves his phone on the desk, grabs his book bag, and then proceeds to walk out the front door to go talk to the teacher. The teacher and him sit down in a room next door. They go over, I don't know, some kind of like the work that needed to be done for the other class, what the subscriber was not understanding, answered a few questions, and boom, they were done. It was like 10 minutes long, so, you know, not too long. The subscriber walks back in and looks at his desk. The phone was very clearly on the desk beforehand, and now the phone is gone. So the subscriber immediately assumes that, you know, the uh, person on duty must have just, like, picked up the phone because, like, oh, you're not supposed to have your phone out, whatever, right? You're still allowed to have your phone on you. You're just not supposed to be on it. Um, so he goes up to the person on duty. He's like, hey, like, uh, I left my phone on my desk when we left. Uh, did you happen to pick it up? And the person on duty is like, uh, no, actually, I haven't, I haven't left my seat. And the subscriber just kind of is sitting there for a second thinking, like, uh... So at this point, right, the subscriber kind of looks around the room, and he thinks for a second, did I actually leave my phone? And then he's like, yes, I did actually leave my phone. So he looks around the room, and there's only one other person in here, the Minecraft kid. And the Minecraft kid just looks so suspicious right now. He just got, kind of has like a kind of a weird, suspicious-looking look on his face, and he makes eye contact with the subscriber. And the subscriber and the Minecraft kid, they, they just kind of like sit there for a second, making eye contact. And the subscriber in his head is like, okay, this kid is looking at me so weird. And they make eye contact, and the Minecraft kid quickly darts his eyes away and looks even more suspicious. So the, the subscriber's like, okay. He walks over to the Minecraft kid and is like, uh, hey, man, like, I was uh, looking for something. Um, could you help me out? And the Minecraft kid is like, oh, I didn't take your phone. Which, uh, okay. The subscriber didn't say anything about a phone. He said, hey, I'm missing something. Could you help me out? The subscriber even very intentionally was pretty vague with what he said, with what he asked, because he, he kind of wanted to see if he could catch the Minecraft kid in a lie, or not in a lie, but kind of like get information out of the Minecraft kid that he would not have otherwise known. And the thing is, too, the Minecraft kid was sitting far enough away, and since it was like detention, it was like, I, I don't know, it was like a... Uh, like, it was supposed to be, like, almost like a library, quiet, whatever, because people are supposed to do work. So the subscriber, when he went up to the front desk person and said, hey, do you have my phone? He said it really quietly. So it was really unlikely that the Minecraft kid was able to hear this. So now the subscriber knows that the Minecraft kid is super suspicious. Yeah, so at this point, the subscriber looks at the Minecraft kid, and they kind of just make eye contact for a second, just in silence. And the subscriber says... I didn't say anything about my phone being missed, like my phone being gone, be the thing I'm looking for. And the Minecraft kid, you could just tell in his face that like, he just like, it, it, he, he got real scared. Bro just probably did number two in his pants after he heard that. And the Minecraft kid stammers for a second. He's like, uh, 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 um, uh, I just guessed, which like, really? That was your guess? You guessed out of everything it, that this person left or lost was their phone? I mean, it's not impossible. I mean, that's a pretty common thing people have, and that might be the thing that they lost, right? I'm not, uh, that's definitely not out of the picture. However, though, why not his computer? Why not his book bag? Why not insert a really long list of other things? It just seems a little suspicious, especially since the mine or the subscriber, well, his phone is gone now, and it's he did he definitely didn't just lose it. His phone is gone. He went up to the teacher, who you know probably didn't lift his phone. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I think the teacher has enough common sense. And the only other kid is the Minecraft kid, who just said something extremely suspicious. So at this point, the subscriber was like ninety five percent certain the Minecraft kid took his phone. So the subscriber says this: Look. I don't know why you might have taken my phone, but if you give it back to me now, I'm literally, I'm not going to say anything. Like, you won't get in trouble. I won't say anything to anyone. If you just give it back to me right now with no fuss, no nothing, it's not going to be a big deal. I won't ask any questions. 
And the subscriber looks at the Minecraft kid. You can almost tell on his face that he was considering it for a second. Which, like, Loki, I can understand, like, why some people would accept this. Because I think probably in the moment the Minecraft kid just stole the... I don't even know why the Minecraft kid stole the phone. Because probably, you know, an iPhone is probably one of the worst things you can steal. Not that it isn't valuable. It's probably very valuable. Probably goes for, like, could you could get 800 bucks, 600 bucks, 1,000 bucks, right? However, it is so easy just to go to an Apple store and be like, hey, I lost my phone. One, figure out exactly where it is. And then two, or and or, brick the phone, right? Make it literally useless. And they can do that with one tap of a button. So I think the Minecraft kid, for a second, considered confessing or just not even just confessing, giving him the phone back because he's like, you know, what's even the point of me? I mean, I can't explain what goes on in the Minecraft kid's head, but what's even the point of me stealing this phone? Like, it's kind of stupid, whatever. And uh, if I give it back now, if he's not lying, then I will actually be scot-free. And even though I did something stupid, I won't have to, like, pay any consequences for it. Which, I mean, on the other side, uh, the mind, uh, the subscriber could have very easily have been lying and been like, all right, thanks for my phone, now I'm going to tell on you. And since I, you know, the person's probably watching me over here and saw that you reached into your bag and grabbed your phone, well, now I'm going to tell on you as well, and you're probably going to get detention for the rest of the week and not just today. However, I still feel like if you've done something stupid like this, just giving it back now, you're probably going to be a good idea. However, though, the Minecraft kid decided after kind of looking like he was going to do it for a second, you could almost tell that there was like a change in his face. And he very confidently is like, no, like, I can't give you back your phone because I never took your phone. Yeah, so at this point, right, the subscriber is like, oh, no, 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 this is not how this is going. So the subscriber is like, look, I know you took my phone. You said something about my phone that you like, I, I came up to you and I said, I'm looking for something. And you said, oh, I didn't take your phone. Why did you even think it was my phone? And then, like, it, it's just like, it's just, it's not the teacher. I know I put the phone there. I've checked everything. I've checked my bag. I've checked my pockets. I went back in the room. It's not there. And the Minecraft kid is looking real guilty again. And the subscriber's like, I'm going to give you one more invitation to just give me my phone back. And no one will care. What are you even going to do with the phone? Look, it's totally pointless. The second I go back home, I'm going to brick that thing. It's going to be no point. And I'm also going to ping the location so we'll know either way. And after saying that, the Minecraft kid looked real guilty again. So he's like, okay, just give me the phone. I, I won't tell anyone. I, I just want to go back to doing what I'm doing. I promise. And the Minecraft kid, once again... Looks as if he's on the verge of giving it back. He looks like he's like, mm, like kind of like he's thinking about it a little bit. And then the Minecraft kid's face changes again. He's like, dude, like, I didn't take your phone. I don't know what to say. And the subscriber at this point, a little part of him's like, what if you didn't actually take your phone? But then the rest of him's like, nah, this kid definitely took my phone. Like, there's just no, like, it's a little bit, it's a little bit aggressive to go out just accusing random people of stuff. But at the same time, bro... It's so obvious that the Minecraft kid took his phone. It is so obvious. Yeah, so uh, anyways, right, the subscriber's like, all right, well, I'm going to get, like, if you don't give it to me right now, I'm going to go up to the person, like, the uh, person monitoring this whole thing, and we're going to figure this out. And the Minecraft kid held his ground. So the subscriber walks up to, like, the uh, chaperone and whatever, and it's like, look, I left my phone here. I'm 100% certain I left my phone here. I had it on my desk. And then when I came back, my phone was gone. You obviously didn't take it. And there's only one other kid here. I went up to the Minecraft kid and asked him, oh, do you, like, can you help me go find something? And he immediately said, I didn't take your phone. That sounds pretty guilty to me. Can you please come over and help me get my phone back? And the chaperone's like, all right. Puts his phone, like, puts his, like, book down, walks over the, with the, walks over with the subscriber to the Minecraft kid. And the Minecraft kid immediately says, I didn't take his phone. And the chaperone, who didn't really see anything, is like, oh, okay, well, um, if you did, like, can you please give it back? And the subscriber's like, like, this is like, yeah, like, dude, I, I don't care. Just please give me my phone. And the Minecraft kid's like, I didn't do the phone. I didn't take the phone. And the subscriber's like, turns to the chaperone, is like, dude, look, he very clearly took the phone. And the chaperone's like, uh, I, I can't, like, if you don't have any more definitive proof, I really can't do anything about it. And the subscriber's like, wait, what? And the chaperone's like, yeah. And the subscriber's like, hey, can you, like, search his bag? 
And the chaperone's like, I don't think I can just search his bag without, like, more evidence. Like, I think that's against some rule or something. And the subscriber's like, you're a teacher here. You search, like, teachers search our bags all the time. The chaperone's like, yeah, I'm just not trying to get in trouble, man. Which, I mean, I kind of get, like, the chaperone's just trying to keep their job, trying to have a low stakes, like, checking out, uh, just hosting detentions, pretty low stakes most of the time. So the subscriber's like, oh, my God. Anyways, though, so this point, the Minecraft kid almost has, like, a smug look on his face. Like, the Minecraft kid genuinely is, like, almost excited that he got away with it, in a sense. And the Minecraft, the subscriber goes up to the Minecraft kid and says, dude, I know you took it. And the Minecraft kid's like, prove it then. Which, just saying prove it then almost makes it feel like, bro, almost feels like you're actually just taunting and you know that you have the upper hand. And the subscriber's like, dude, like, what do you even want with my phone? And the, and the Minecraft kid's like, that's none of your business. And the subscriber's like, so you did take my phone. And the Minecraft kid's like, uh, prove it. And at this point, the, Mi the subscriber's getting so angry. He also has never done anything against the Minecraft kid. This is not going to turn to one of those stories where it's like, six years ago, the subscriber accidentally stole the Minecraft kid's crush from him. And like, this is his long-awaited revenge. The subscriber and the Minecraft kid, no. They have never interacted before. I think the subscriber has, like, kind of known about the Minecraft kid for being a little weird, but, like, they've never interacted before. This is not some big old revenge story or something. None of that. So at this point, right, the subscriber walks back up to the chaperone and says, I just said, like, what, I, like, I just went up to him, and I was talking with him, and I said, what do you want with my phone? And he said, none of your business. Like, th that implies that he has it. Like, you need to be able to, like, is that not evidence enough? And the chaperone's like, look, like, I definitely see what you're saying. I just don't know what my clear like, I don't know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. You're probably right, but also I don't, like, I don't want to get in trouble for searching some kid's bag if I'm just, like, genuinely not allowed to search his bag. And the subscriber's like, okay, I, I guess. And, but the subscriber's like, can you look into that? And if you can, you got to search his bag. And the chaperone's like, okay. When the chaperone says, okay, I think the subscriber kind of subconsciously realized that no, like, they were not going to do anything about it. Like, I, like it just, they're not going to do anything about it, man. I don't know how else to say it. Anyways, though, so yeah, the subscriber goes back to the Minecraft kid. And it's about uh, five minutes until detention is over. And when detention is over, uh, the parents have to come and, like, pick them up. It's like a whole process, right? Parents hate it when kids get detention at this school. Well, I mean, I think parents hate it when kids get detention ever because it's detention but specifically at this school like the parents had to come and like sign the kids out or something and kind of just get like a little talking to so the subscriber knew that the minecraft kids parents as well as his parents would be here so anyways five minutes later uh the my the subscriber's parents are late they uh they texted him that but you know he wouldn't know because he doesn't have his phone on him but the minecraft kids parents come so anyways, right, uh, at this point, the, mi the subscriber, like, sees the Minecraft kid's parents and says, hey, can I talk to you guys for a second? And so the Minecraft kid's dad's like, sure. He's like, hey, um, I, I don't totally know why, but I'm pretty sure your son has my phone. I think it's in his bag. I was wondering if you could check. Just maybe he picked it up by accident. Like, tr the, the, the subscriber's trying to be as, like, generous as possible, even though he knows it was not an accident. So this moment, the Minecraft kid must have overheard specifically what the uh, subscriber had said to his dad. And he goes over, and he's like, Dad, Dad, this, this, this kid is, like, a, a, a saying that I'm a thief. He's claiming that I'm stealing from him. Like, Dad, you know I wouldn't steal from anyone. You know that, right? You know that. And at this point, like, the dad's like, of course, sweetie. Like, of course you wouldn't steal from anyone. You're not a thief at all. The subscriber's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not necessarily saying that. I'm just saying that, <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, you know, maybe he picked it up by accident. And at this point, right, you know, the, the Minecraft kid's dad is like, you know, normally I would have given you benefit of the doubt and maybe I would have checked through his bag to see if he picked it up by accident. But it sounds to me like you're accusing my son of stealing and like my son has integrity. He would never do that. And I'm not going to allow false allegations to float around. And the subscribers just like, wait, 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 can you just like, can you just check? Like, please, uh, real quick, made it this far into the video, comment Minecraft down below. And also, if you tend to listen or you use Spotify, make sure to follow me on Spotify as well and listen to the story times on there. 
A uh, link in the pinned comment and the description. Anyways, though, so sure enough, right, the Minecraft kid is just like, yeah, like, he's been, Dad, he's accusing me of being a thief. Am I a thief, Dad? And the dad's like, no, son, you are not a thief, and we will not allow false allegations to spread so ridiculously like they are right now. At this point, the subscriber's just, like, clutching his head. He's like, dude, I just want my frickin' phone back, man. Yeah, so the subscriber is, like, realizing that I think that the dad might be ta is taking this Minecraft kid's side. He's like, can you at least just look? Like, I think he might have picked up by accident. I'm not saying anything of anyone. And the Minecraft kid's dad is like, you know, I normally would have, but, you know, you're accusing my son, and I'm not going to go through such a, like, a false search warrant for nothing. And, like, uh, at this point, the Minecraft kid is just like, like, beginning to tear up, but it's fake tearing up. It's like, oh, Dad, thank you. I was accused. I'm glad you chose my side. Yeah, so anyways, the Minecraft kid's dad is like, all right, son, let's get out of here. I'm sorry you had to deal with this. And so the Minecraft kid is getting up. However, the Minecraft kid did not zip up his backpack all the way. So when the Minecraft kid, like, pulls up his backpack... Something slips out of it that was just recently put in there. If you guess the subscriber's phone, then you're right. The Minecraft kid pulls up his backpack, and since it's unzipped, the subscriber's phone falls out of it onto the floor. It doesn't crack, doesn't do any damage, but it makes a loud sound, and all three of them look at it. And the subscriber points at it and says, look, like th that that's my phone. And the Minecraft kid just goes white. And the Minecraft kid, like, turns to his dad. He's like, Dad, I, I didn't do it. He, uh, it must have been a mistake. And the Minecraft kid's dad, like, of course you didn't do it, son. And the subscriber's just like, what? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> like, what? Because just a second ago, the, the Minecraft kid's dad was just like, it was such a false and baseless allegation. I'm not going to check his bag when it was literally in his bag. And then seconds later, it's proven that it was in his bag the whole time. And like, the, like, bro, how does it just accidentally fall in there? Like the subscriber was saying, oh, can you check his bag just in case it accidentally fell in there? The subscriber didn't actually believe it could accidentally quote unquote fall in there. But the subscriber also knew that he was just trying to convince this stubborn dad to realize his son is not the angel he probably thinks he is. So the dad is like, turns to the, the subscriber and is like, you know, you're lucky that we're letting you keep your phone after you planted that in my son's bag to frame him. And the subscriber is like, what? And, and the subscriber tries to like reason slash argue with the dad and, and say like, okay, why on earth would I try and plant my phone in your son's bag. I don't know your son. I would gain nothing from you guys thinking that he's a thief. Like, what would, like, genuinely, what would I gain from you thinking that he's a thief? Like, what would I gain from that? Like, all, like, I didn't even know if I was going to get my phone back. Like, I, like, how, like, what, what do I, he, basically the subscriber is saying, why would I do this? There's no motivation slash incentives for me to do this. And the Minecraft kid's dad is like, I don't know why you'd want to do it. Probably you're just sick and twisted and want to mess with my son because he's a good kid and overall is known as a good kid. And the subscriber is just sitting there in utter and sheer disbelief. Just think to himself, what on earth am I listening to right now? Like genuinely, this has to be like the, the, the most like mental, like the most extreme mental gymnastics slash delusion I have, I, I, I've ever heard. Like, this is ridiculous. And so the Minecraft kid's dad is like, you know, uh, planning false evidence on someone and accusing them and then trying to ruin their lives is something that we could sue you over. And the subscriber's just like, you're, you're threatening to sue me after, over your son stealing my phone. And the Minecraft kid's dad's like, my son did not steal anything. Very clearly, you're just a hooligan who wants trouble. And, and the subscriber at this point is realizing that this is truly a lost cause. So the subscriber kind of realizes that he's stuck and that at the end of the day, he's not going to win this. Obviously, the dad is in his own world. But the good news is, is he has his phone back. So the subscriber says, you know what? I'm just going to walk away from this. I have my fine phone. I don't care. And the Minecraft kid's dad is like shouting at him like, you know, you're probably going to see us in court because of this. Blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. Like, 
all, all that, right? And he goes over to the chaperone, and the chaperone's like, what's the fuss? And the subscriber's like, yeah, this dad is, like, mad that I exposed the fact that his son stole my phone. And, uh, yeah, um, so this, yeah, apparently the chaperone's like, oh, yeah, like, that family's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, just, like, straight up, yeah, they're kind of whack, bro, like, not gonna lie. And so, yeah, the subscriber takes the L in a sense, but he also kind of takes the W because at the end of the day, like, he gets his phone back, and that's all that matters. And when he gets back home, his mom's like, how is the tension or whatever, like, sorry we didn't pick you up sooner, like, if, like, did you see our text? And the subscriber's like, I did not see your text. I actually have a pretty good, good story why I didn't. Click on the video on screen right now if you want to support the channel and if you're bored, and uh, yeah, thank you. Peace.